What's up, YouTube? I'm going to add on to what I posted yesterday about the Caitlyn Jenner and Rachel Dozel, Dozel concept. The idea that Bruce Jenner's transformation to Caitlyn is somehow more to be celebrated than a woman who, despite all of her, her deceit, she's done a lot to help the black community. Even though some of the stories that she's pulled from and used as her own experience were fabricated and didn't necessarily happen, the fact still remains she is a professor of African American studies. She's been a civil rights worker. She's been president of the NAACP and had a vested interest in helping someone other than herself, an entire, an entire community of people. And I think that's more honorable. That's more honorable than anything that Jenner did, not to take anything away from his Olympic accomplishments, not to say that he isn't brave for changing who he is in the face of the obviously impending media storm and criticism, worldwide criticism. You're going to have people on both sides. People who are going to say, oh, he's so brave for doing what he did. And other people are going to feel that they are able to be who they are. They're free to be who they are because that he he was able to. People are going to come from that perspective. People are also going to come from the perspective. But that's not natural. He's confused. He's mentally, mentally. There, there is an argument going around that. That the. I believe it's called the DSM. It's a manual that uh, that lists all the different mental mental disabilities, and people are using the argument that up until a certain year, homosexuality was in that manual. That may be true. I hear this argument. I've heard the argument a lot from black people. <clears throat> My problem with that is taking the same manual. If you look in the, if you look at a certain time period, something else was in that manual regarding black people. I can't remember the name of the particular mental disease, but it was the, def the definition of it was a slave trying to escape had a certain disease, they had a certain mental deficiency because why would a slave rationally try and escape from his master? And then there was another situation that caused them to be black. Said They said that black people were not, were, were mentally inferior. And that was in the same manual that they're using to say, well, homosexuality was in this manual. I'm not making a judgment one way or another about homosexuality, I have my own opinions. But I'm not making a judgment on it. My point is, if you're going to use that manual to speak against one thing, you have to realize if there are other things in that manual that you don't believe were validated. Like the idea, the concept that a slave who wanted to escape from his slavery must have had something wrong in his mind. Then you got to realize if, if you're going to say this is not valid because it just doesn't make sense. You can't use that same book to validate this over here. Okay, so that's a little bit off on a tangent. My point was, even though Jenner made the transition, excuse me, his, his quote unquote bravery, that's fine. It's still not adding much more to the world okay when you look at what he's done over the course of his life he was an olympian he was an athlete okay race car driver on wheaties boxes sure but how much more does that add to the world than any other inspirational athlete's story okay jordan telling his story about how he got cut from his junior high team and it, he he cried and whatnot or people not having any faith in him and he decided to be the best ever. Okay. Anyone else's story. All right. Those are inspiring. I'll, I'll give you that. 
But what does that really add to the world? Okay, It's an individual accomplishment in, in Jenner's case. Okay, So, yes, we can look at that and say, wow, glad that somebody was able to do that. And some of us may look at it and say, wow, because they did it, I think I can do it too. And that's positive. I don't take that away. But when you look at what Dolzell has done, she's actually worked for people's equality. She's worked to build up something outside of herself. Okay? When you look at Jenner, his latest legacy before transitioning to Caitlyn, latest, gen latest legacy was what? I'm on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. That's not very significant in the grand scheme of things. That's entertainment. But this professor, who's actually worked towards the benefit, the benefit of a group of people, who now it turns out she isn't even necessarily a member of that group, but she tends to identify with him. We're going to criticize her? Are we really going to expel someone who's had, who's seemed to have a love, a genuine love? However worked her perspective was, the direction at which she approached the situation. I, of course, you should not be able to speak on a situation as if it was your own. We saw that with Brian Williams. The news. Oh, I was in the war and I remember helicopter got shot. Oh, well, I wasn't in the helicopter. I, okay, somebody told me about it. Well, now you've messed up your credibility in terms of what you do for a profession. As a newscaster, people expect you to tell the truth. Well, unless you're watching certain news channels. We're not saying anything about Fox, though. Um, in her case, she worked for the benefit of other people. She was working towards equality for black people. And that's admirable. That's admirable. That's worth something. That adds something to the world. I don't think that's something to just shake your head at. Okay? And I don't think it's it makes her less of a quality person or less brave than, well, I will say one thing. Jenner was brave in that he went out in front of the world and said, this is what I am and went through the process. Okay. The fact that Dolzell did not ever state, look, this is who I was and this is who I am now. That's not being forthcoming. I think it might be more brave to actually live the life and do what and, and accomplish something. Okay. So she's, she's brave in that she's actually made these, uh, made the transition from white to black <laughs> and actually lived the life that she's lived. I'm not saying she's lived a black life. I'm not saying by any means that she's been a black woman. No. But she's done what she's done with the intention of helping people. Caitlyn Jenner, at the end of the day, there is nothing to lose, really. People's perspective, perception of you. So what? You're still a millionaire. You're still rich. At the, at the end of the day, you lose nothing if people don't accept you. Whereas Dozel can lose a job, a number of jobs. She can lose a position as NAACP uh, president. She can lose her, uh, could potentially lose her job, depending on how people looked at it and how, how they wanted to approach it. On top of being perceived negatively in the media, in the community. So my point is, I think Rachel Dozel deserves a, a little more love and respect than all the criticism that she's inevitably going to receive. 
at least respect her for the for the heart that she's had to want to help people. It's not like she did it just so she could be a, a rapper or a dancer or a video chick. She was actually trying to help a community of people. And that has to be respected. At the, at the end of the day, you have to look and say, what has she added to the world? You know, what is the value of her life? <laughs> wow, that sounded dark. What is she doing with her own life? For that matter, what are we doing with ours? I hope to, hope to add to the community on the level that she has. And not just be a figure in entertainment. All right, that's enough for today. I'm Eric, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. You enjoy the video, share it, like it, you know, do whatever. I'm gonna go play with the puppies.